I've got nothing to say. I mean, honestly, I was trying to figure out what to do for this video and just nothing came. Nothing showed up in my mind. God didn't give me a divine word. So I started thinking about saying nothing <laughs> about when we have nothing to say, when we have nothing, when we have no words. You know, and, and, and things started coming up into my mind. <laughs> things started um, coming to me. Because I remember well when I, I, I didn't want anybody in my life. I liked freedom, I guess you could say. I thought I was free <laughs> when I didn't have a girlfriend or whatever. And so for years, I just went about my life, did what Joel wanted, had people in my life when I wanted them. But then God started changing my heart, and I began to pray for my wife. I began to pray for that person to come into my life. And year after year after year went by with no results. And I got fed up. And I told God, I'm going to stop praying. You put this desire in my life. I got no words. I got nothing to say. I'm done. And so I just went on like that. Have you ever been there in your life? You, you've, you, you've searched and you've searched and, and you've prayed and you've reached out to God, but you don't get the answer that you may want or any answer at all. And we just stop talking. Sometimes in our lives and our jobs and relationships, you know, we talk and we talk and we talk to the people and they don't hear us and we just stop. We have no words. We got nothing to say. Just nothing to say anymore. But you know what, after a while, I began to realize I, I can't stop talking. It's not healthy for me. It's not healthy for my relationship with God. So I begin to speak again. Morning. And I begin to pray for whoever it was. <laughs> not pray for them to come into my life, but just to keep them safe. Keep them happy. Keep them healthy. That when that day arises, that we shall meet, we'll be right for each other. And you know, in our relationships with others, and uh, let me finish that story. And a few years down the road, I met my wife. And praise God. That was a good thing. But I had to keep the conversation going. I got nothing. I got nothing to say. I have no words, God, we may cry out. But God, you know, you know more than I do. And in our relationships with others, in our jobs, and in our families and stuff, sometimes we don't have the right words to say. But we need to keep talking. We need to keep sharing. We need to keep loving. We need to keep the door open for the words. For the words that come out of our mouth. <laughs> I got no words for this video. I got nothing to say. But I do. But I do, and so do you. If you've cut someone off, if you've stopped talking to God, 
you can change that. You may have to humble yourself a little. You may have to eat some of your words that you previously said to those around us. But don't keep the silence going. Don't keep the communication shut off. Reach back to God. Say, I'm sorry. Reach out to the person you may have shut the door on. And even if they don't return it to you, the person, you know, it's okay. You've done your part. We can't have no more words anymore. Our life is too short. We're running out of time. You may feel like you got nothing to say, but you know you do. And it might need, it might mean a little humbling on our part. Keep the words going. Keep the communication going. Keep the love going in your life. No more words. Nothing to say. I think we do. Keep up the good work. <sighs> Trust God. Go to Him. He's got us.